I know this may be surprising to some of you, but it is true. It is legit and real. A Techno 5G smartphone is now available in some selected markets and in the coming weeks you can start purchasing the 5G device. It is called Techno Pova 5G. In this video, we are going to talk about the design, the full specs of the smartphone, the price and when it will be released for purchase in your various countries. Big shout out to RMPGHQ who drew my attention to this. Is a tech YouTuber from Philippines. You can check his YouTube in the description below. Now, the Techno Pova 5G is powered by the MediaTek DBCT 900 5G chipset. The chipset makes the Techno Pova 5G to be the best Techno has ever produced yet. Which means when it comes to performance and fastness, the Techno Pova 5G is better than the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro better than Samsung Galaxy A32 and any other techno smartphone out there in the market. Now looking at this chart, the green color represents the beta score. And you can see Techno Power 5G is topping the chart with the highest score both in single and multi score. So the Techno Power 5G is a powerful smartphone for fastness and higher performing device Techno has ever produced. The MediaTek DMCT 905G chipset is paired with 8 gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of internal storage, which you can expand via a micro SD card up to 1 terabyte. The design of the smartphone didn't change very much. You still have the cutout selfie camera placed in the middle of the display, while the back design contains triple cameras. The primary camera is 50 megapixel with quad flashlights staying close to it to enable bright picture at night. The back cover is made of plastic and it comes in multiple colors, but this particular one comes in either black. Both the volume button and the fingerprint sensor are the right hand side of the smartphone, so the power button doubles as the fingerprint sensor. The display is 6.9 inches Full HD Plus IPS LCD touchscreen with 120Hz refresh rate. While the battery capacity was reduced from 7000 mAh we saw on the Techno Power 2 to 6000 mAh capacity. Software-wise, the smartphone runs Android 11 out of the box. So again, here are the full specs of the Techno Power 5G. You have 6.9 inches IPS LCD touchscreen display with full HD plus resolution, 120Hz refresh rate. It is powered by MediaTek Dim City 900 5G chipset, paired alongside 8 gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of internal storage. It has 50 megapixel triple rear camera and a 6000 mAh batch capacity with 18 watt fast charge support. Finally, it runs under 11 out of the box. Now, let's talk about the pricing of the Techno Pova 5G. Depending on your region, determines how much you buy a smartphone. But generally, it is priced between 280 USD to 300 USD. The smartphone will be released in some key selected markets India, Philippines, Indonesia, Pakistan, Nigeria, Kenya, and few other selected markets. Now, when you compare this smartphone to the Techno Pova 2, just for a moment, and get the Pova 2. Now, there are some actual differences. First of all, the Techno Pova 2 has 7000 mAh battery capacity, while the Pova 5G has 6000 mAh. But that isn't really the big deal. The big deal is that the Pova 5G is powered by MediaTek Dimensity 5G chipset. Now, one good thing about the MediaTek Dimensity 900 is that when it comes to battery, it is so better when it comes to its management because it is fabricated on 6 nanometer process. Unlike the 12 nanometer process on the MediaTek Helio G series smartphones fabricated on. Now, the lesser the nanometer, the more battery efficient and more better it is. So, even though it is 6000 mAh capacity, Thermo Power 5G is, it will deliver or gives long battery life. That is setting. So, battery will never be an issue on the Techno Power 5G. Now, another actual difference when you compare to the Power 2 is that. The Pova 5G is faster than the Pova 2 in terms of the CPU and even when it comes to GPU. 
So when you run benchmark on Geekbench, the Bova 5G is always top tier, it's always ahead of the Techno Bova 2 because it is powered by lesser chipset. So I think this is the biggest jump I've ever seen in Techno Smartphone. And technically, the Bova 5G is also faster and more power efficient than Techno Phantom X and Techno Camera 18 Premium. So any other smartphones that run on the MediaTek 700 series or 800 series are, are capped below the Dream City 900 5G chipset that powers the Techno Power 5G smartphone. The whole sum up is that the Techno Power 5G is a powerful smartphone and it comes at a very good price, 280 USD to 300 USD. So it's a budget smartphone. The performance is better than what you had on any Techno smartphones and the likes of Xiaomi, Redmi, Note Pro and Samsung Galaxy A32. So uh, November 30th is the specific date when Xiaomi will launch the Redmi Note 11 t 5G chipset in India. So this Techno Power 5G is going to compete in the market against the likes of the Xiaomi, Redmi Note 11 t 5G and other Realme smartphones. Whereas Infinix is also working on the 5G smartphone. I already made a video about that uh, some time ago. I will link it somewhere here. You can check it out. But most importantly is that I'm going to review more of these complete specs and design of the Infinix 5G smartphone. So if you don't want to miss that, hit subscribe button, turn the post bell so you don't miss that. You'll be among the first to get a full update about the forthcoming Infinix 5G device. Now, that Infinix 5G device will also be in the market very soon and compete with Techno Pova 5G and the Xiaomi Redmi uh, Note 11 uh, T 5G. So, in Africa, Kenya, Nigeria, in Asia, Indonesia, Philippines, India are set of getting these smartphones. Meanwhile, the Techno Pova 2 major force was for gaming. That's why you have the Monica a level up unleash the beast but in terms of techno power 5g the key factor here is speed that's why i have the monica is techno power 5g speed up unleash the beast so it's a pretty smartphone in terms of performance not the best camera smartphone maybe i'm better to test it but i'm testing on that 50 megapixel main camera well i don't know but in my review i'll talk much about that but what I do know is that the Techno Camera 2 Premier and Techno Phantom X are better when it comes to cameras. But when it comes to performance and speed, the Techno Power 5G is up there. It's better than Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro, Samsung Galaxy A52, Samsung Galaxy A32, and others when it comes to speed and performance. Well, let me know what you think in the description. If the Techno Power 5G is available in your region, will you make a purchase of one? Will you buy a 5G smartphone now, even though 5G is not available in your country? Let me know in the comment section below. And also let me know what you think about the pricing of the smartphone, 280 USD to 300 USD for such powerful and fast smartphone. MediaTek Dim City, 900 5G, 280 USD to 300 USD. Do you think the price is fitting? Let me know in the comment section. It's my idea. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you around in my next one.